All right. Um, so I'd like to request uh, uh, one of us to please uh, lead in prayer. Can we pray? Yes, yes, Charles, please. Thank you. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for all this for you have brought us. We thank you because you love us. We thank you because you care for us. We thank you because you have given us the ability to sit and listen. Lord, we praise you for all that you have allowed us to go through. We thank you for the people that you have allowed us to meet and be able to um, encounter and be able to sit at their feet and learn. And now, Lord, that as we end the semester, Lord, I pray that you will also guide us to go through the recess very well. But also for this hour that will be productive for the glory of your name and for our good. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you. Thank you so much, Charles. Um, so as we're all aware, we take this time to um, ask questions and, uh, you know, um, learn our faculty is here. So our faculty will uh, answer those questions for us. If there's anything that uh, you know, you've been wondering about now, this could be um, from what you have learned in the course, or it could even be outside the course. You know, uh, please go ahead. You can ask the questions by unmuting or posting on the chat so feel free to do that all right so even as we wait uh, for questions um uh, since this is the end of our uh, uh, semester, um, I, I just wanted to uh, ask us, you know, um, uh, those of us who have been learning and uh, taken up uh, different courses at APC Bible College, uh, if you could uh, share, you know, what is that one thing that you're going to take back with you as you uh, serve God? Right. So is there one thing that uh, is going to change about the way you will serve God in the in the ministry that God has given you uh, because of the courses and, you know, because of the uh, Bible college? So if anyone would like to share, um, that would be wonderful. Maybe we could begin with you, Charles, if that's okay. Is there anything that has impacted you that will help you um, uh, do your ministry better? Oh, yes. Thank you so much, uh, Pastor Nancy, for sure. the request. Uh, I'm really thankful to the Lord for this training, um, especially the the first year was really really tough and the, it was like an eye opener for me and i had always longed to do theology and when it came in and i was learning i remember uh when we, we reached the time when we were studying about demons about uh, those things of praying for ourselves and people were dropping off. I was concerned. I was like, so do people fear demons to the level to the level of fearing even to study about to them? So I was like, God give me the grace that I can finish this this part that is about demonology. So I, I got encouraged and I studied it and I finished it and I added it to the study that I had done about the prayer school when we are done we are doing the spiritual mapping and um dealing with with spiritism and it equipped me better to be a great intercessor so that i can do great intercession so even right now um i am asking the lord that he will give me a, a greater perspective uh, my wife is studying to be a minister in the church uh, already me i'm serving with child evangelism fellowship 
which is a Christian ministry, and my wife is studying is at the seminary, studying to be a minister in the church, to be a church leader, and the, me having theology, her having theology, I believe will be equipped in one way or another, I will be helping her, especially in theology things, but as we also edify one another in the family. I thank you. Yes, thank you. Thank you so much, Charles. Uh, um, yeah, it's so exciting to know that you and your wife are serving the Lord, uh, serving him together. And uh, as you shared, uh, some of these courses have uh, given you a better understanding about uh, the things of God and it's equipping you uh, in the work that God has called you to do and you know uh, so blessed to hear that and may the Lord continue to strengthen you in what you are doing and also Pastor Ashish has shared here in the chat that uh, uh, through the semester uh, he says my learning from Bible college keep studying never stop learning study again on topics I have already studied so so true we have excuse me we have to be um, uh, learners forever. That's uh, the best way to grow. So thank you, Pastor, for sharing that. Um, uh, uh, anyone else would like to share about, you know, what is it that you, uh, uh, what is it that you will take with you uh, from what you've learned that will impact your ministry? So um, please feel free. You can just jump in and share. If anyone has a question, so then uh, please feel free to post that as well. Hello. <coughs> Hello, Paul. Good morning. Yes, morning. Praise God. Yes, praise God. Uh, 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 <coughs> my, my learning, just like uh, the other colleague has said, I have been equipped with the material. I am a, I am a preacher. So now I'm a well equipped with the materials to preach to the congregation. Every every month, our church gives the theme, the theme to be, to, to be preached. So now with the MENA, I find it very easy. This course is very, very comprehensive. When they bring a theme, I find it automatically there in, in, in one of the course units. So I have I have a material available to, to preach to the congregation. So. This is one of the good things this course has impacted in my ministry. Thank you. Wow. Praise God. Uh, that's uh, wonderful to hear, Paul. You, know, you uh, preach God's word and uh, what you you are learning, what you have learned, um, it, it, um, you know, th there's, it's a resource for you to continue preaching and continue to uh, speak God's word. So uh, praise God for that. And uh, we pray uh, you know, may you continue to grow and may God bless uh, your ministry. So thank you so much. Thank you for sharing that. Very exciting to hear, you know, uh, different ones uh, sharing from your own lives. If there's anyone else you want to uh, share how the uh, training here at APC Bible College uh, will help you, in, in your um, ministry, you can share, or if there are any questions, then uh, I request us to please go ahead and ask them. Pastor Kanning? Yes, yes, please go ahead, Dashi Kumar. Thank you, Pastor. Um, I should say this, uh, I came from, I'm coming from a church background where yes, it's a very a wonderful church, but my pastor never encourages us uh, to for the Bible college and uh, you know, the, uh, that, that kind of a thing. And uh, so that was in my mind for more than 10, 15 years uh, after I I came to know Christ. And uh, that was something which I was always carrying in my mind that Bible college is waste. Actually, we should not learn something from the Bible college. And um, in his messages also somewhere, he used to uh, tell that uh, the college, the students who pass out from the Bible college are waste. So that was in my mind. And, I, uh, and that because of that, I was never uh, got encouraged uh, to join any Bible college. And uh, that was something which uh, always uh, discouraged me. But when I, when, I, when I saw the ad in the YouTube about, about APC, I just thought, okay, why should I, I, I just give a try to see that how it works. And, uh, and after joining APC, uh, my whole view has changed. I used to encourage the people, you should join the Bible college because 
uh, until and unless um, uh, we will not learn the word we cannot minister even jesus himself was trained in the synagogue as the bible says so i was even though he was a child he was the word of god so i understood one thing that the importance of bible college and the the right teaching which uh, i received from the apc it was really a blessing it was a uh, eye opening for me uh, i really thankful that god has given me such wonderful faculties around me and uh, uh, they have always uh, helped me to clear my doubts and uh, and i am really blessed uh, and it is a blessing in my fam- personal life my family and in, in ministry it really changed my perspective i always tell, now i always tell the people i encourage the people say that no you should join a bible college where the word is taught and uh, it will help uh, it will it will be helpful for your ministry thank you pastor thank you thank you for everyone thank you thank you thank you shri kumar it's such a blessing to hear that that you know all all this uh, teaching equipping is strengthening you not just for the ministry but you know as you shared your personal life and uh, family as well may god continue to strengthen you in what he has called you to do so thank you so much um uh we continue with our mentoring hours so this is a time when we ask questions uh, and our faculty is here to answer them for us so if there's any uh, questions that uh, any of you may have i request you to please ask them all right so uh, as we um, wait for questions uh, we will continue to hear from different ones of us about you know what is it that um, uh, how is the learning from apc bible college impacting you and you know what is it that uh, you are going to take with you uh, in in the ministry that you do so uh, i just want to leave the same question open and if there are others uh, you want to share then uh, please do unmute and share how has the equipping helped you how uh, will it help you improve your ministry okay uh, kiran um, can i request you to uh, share i think uh, you are completing 3 years uh, with this semester no Yes, ma'am. Good morning, everyone. Praise God. Good morning. Praise God. Yeah. Uh, no word to explain and say thanking you for all faculty and senior pastor and all of you. And I learned so many things. Still, I'm learning and improving myself. And uh, what I learned from APC, the Word of God. a uh, spiritual even i received the term the in apc and also also i i learned many things some revelation i received and uh, and about teaching what i learned i used to share in my church with in my uh, church youth youth ministry with and also women they also uh receiving some revelation like that so thanking you i receive a lot no what to explain and thank to god and thank you all thanking you thank you yeah thank you kiran thank you so much for uh, sharing um praise god even currently in whatever you're doing you know, all this learning is is helping you so we are so excited about that and we believe that you know there's so much more that you'll be able to use as you um, um step into the things that god shows you so yeah thank you so much for sharing um we have uh, charles who uh, has asked us to um share a little bit about the graduation next week so um uh, dina would, will you be able to uh, share please will you be able to address Hi. it yes pastor vancy um yes so um yes on may 8th is our graduation sunday our uh, graduation service we will be due to the surge in the covid cases in bangalore 
uh, we have decided to have online graduation service. So it will be during our service time itself, starts at 10.30 a.m. And it will go until about 12. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, thank you, Diana. Thank you. Thank for, you. Thank for you, Pastor Nancy. Thank you, Charles, for the question. Yeah. Yes. Uh, Charles, I hope uh, it, you, your question has been answered. Were you looking for some other information? Okay. Yes. So uh, I think uh, Charles has got his answer. So that's, that's good. That's good. All right. So um, this time is open. Would uh, any does anyone have a question? <laughs> I know we always have questions, so okay, Taisha. Yes, Taisha, please go ahead. Could you repeat the question, please, that you had asked? Oh, okay. Uh, okay. So uh, I was I was just asking um, uh, as to how all this equipping at APC will will help you in your ministry. So if you would like to share about that, uh, you could. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. I was a little um, distracted. Yeah. Yeah. I no problem. Finish my exams. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> so, yes. Uh, um. The teachings, what I find that how the program is designed, it is a very, what's the word I'm looking for? Relevant. It is very relevant. And uh, listing what I find going over the recordings, I really like this, this added to the, this um, semester and last semester as well, I think for, for this year. I, I'm, I'm really grateful for this so we can go back and listen to some of this stuff because listen to it, it has really helped me um, in my personal life and the courses, the counseling sessions, courses, the whole, whole holistic course, all of them, the Holy Spirit, the end time, all of them. I like how they are, you know, designed to equip us really. So we are getting real substance here because when you see what is out there, people are twisting the truth and, and you know, and we know these things are going to happen. Yes, because the Bible, <laughs> Bible tells us. So these things are happening. But when you don't know the, the, the truth, you tend to be deceived. You don't know which truth to believe. But the, uh, we're, I'm so grateful that you guys did not um, 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 dissect the word it is it is it is so raw and and meaty i am really happy with the substance i am getting here I, i'm really even though some of the class i tend to fall asleep i'm sorry the time zone but i have to go back and watch you know and and listen um to 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 the classes and try to get things and but it, it is so relevant and stuff what i find i remember listening to um, Pastor Jean, she was talking about, which I think it was the holistic course, and a point that she touched was an area that I struggled with. I'm like, OMG, really? You know, and I'm saying, God, nothing misses you. There's not, no surprises with God. Everything that we are, that we go through, it is, it, it is divinely orchestrated how he really helps us and have the Holy Spirit ministers to us to equip us for ministry because we're supposed to edify, equip. If we don't know anything, what are we going to equip? Who are we going to equip? You know, so it says iron sharpen iron. So if we're not sharpened, therefore we cannot sharpen anyone. So um, in essence, to sum it all up, I, I, I am grateful for the meat I am getting here. Because as you, as you know before, I have a ministry and some of the stuff I've learned here, most of the stuff, yes, I've, I've taken it and also applied to my life. And it also helps me um, to be humble, humility, 
to learn and also attitude that session with pastor paul you know about your, the the attitude in the workplace i'm like wow that one i used to have an attitude problem honestly i really do i used to but i god has been dealing with me on that for the longest while and I'm, i have learned and i remember a time i was going i was on i said okay lord i'm going to be and I'm going to go on a fast today. And he said to me, I, hold a, I heard the Holy Spirit said to me, don't bother with that troll attitude today. And I said, troll? Really? I had to laugh. I'm saying, oh, really, God? You know, and I remembered later on in the evening, something happened. And I would, would usually go from zero to 100 real quick, not even 10, you know, but... I remembered how the Holy Spirit cautioned me and ministered to me uh, with my attitude. So these things, these courses really helps you and also helps to maintain, it helps to maintain. So I, I am grateful for them really. And it has helped me significantly. But thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for sharing. Taisha, so glad you found these courses relevant, helpful um, uh, in your ministry. And uh, uh, you know, uh, may, may all this continue to strengthen what you are doing. So God bless you um, uh, for sharing and uh, you know, God continue to lead you. Um, you know, we, uh, I, I think most of our students here on the call have already shared. Uh, if anyone else would like to share, I think, uh, <laughs> yeah, maybe it's just one other student who hasn't shared. But I think I would, uh, I will open this question up to the faculty. Um, the faculty could share, you know, anything new that you have learned as you've taught this semester. So uh, the question's open to you as well. Uh, and let's continue. You know, it's so good to hear from uh, different ones. Uh, it's really strengthening. So uh, maybe John, John, uh, can I ask you how uh, all this learning is going to help you in your ministry? Uh, yes, Pastor. Uh, so it's been, uh, I'm completing the first year uh, this week. Um, so it's been a great learning in every area, especially the classes uh, when we attend. Um, uh, it, it, it Sometimes there are certain things which we think uh, we know, but we attend the class and we understand that, you know, there is there are a lot more to this and, and the things which we know are not uh, uh, there, uh, not there yet. And it actually helps us to understand uh, certain subjects in depth. Um, and I'm truly grateful for all of the faculties who helps us understand that. And also when we um, come to uh, sharing the word at church and taking classes uh, for the congregation, uh, some of the examples which we discuss in the class, uh, it really helps while conveying to uh, the church. And certain examples that... Um, when especially we are talking about gifts of the spirit now and uh, certain things which uh, we learn through the class are really helpful um, in conveying to people and making them understand also so so grateful uh, thank you so much and looking forward for more thank you thank you john thank you so much so good to hear that uh, it's uh, helpful and you, know, you can make use of what you've learned. So God bless you and strengthen you in your ministry. So thank you, uh, John, for sharing. Uh, I you know uh, the time is still open for questions, but no questions yet. Uh, uh, 25 minutes in, but, uh, you know, different ones are sharing. So even faculty, if you would like to share what you've learned, uh, something different that you've learned through your teaching uh, the semester, you, you can share, please. Oh, oh sorry. <laughs> sorry. No, actually, this is a question <laughs> that I thought I'd ask you only. Um, I was just uh, like 
uh, time and again, just looking at uh, Paul's statements, you know, like uh, Paul says, uh, um, though I was absent with you in body, I'm present with you in spirit, like 1 Corinthians 5 um, says. So, so we know that um, he was one heart in agreement with the believers. And, um, and so I was just wondering, is there more to it than, uh, than that? So, um, you know, being in one in the spirit, uh, I'm sorry, I'm absent in the body, though I'm absent in the body, but I was present in the spirit. So is there more to it? We know the kind of supernatural experiences he'd had. So um, so I, I was just thinking that and I um, just thought I'll ask, you know, is there anything more to being present in spirit um, with the particular congregation uh, than, you know, is it more than you know, being in agreement or being in one heart? one mind um so just thought i'll just ask put it out there thank you yeah i think um the norm um the usual thing of course is like what you mentioned you know that uh they uh, to be spiritually one and in agreement and so on but now we don't know for sure they what i mean we, we know what is possible that is uh, it is possible for us in the spirit to be present at anywhere in the world. Ezekiel had many of those experiences, Paul had, John had. So that is possible. Um, specifically, is Paul referring to such kind of an experience? Uh, it seems so, right? Uh, although we cannot say for definite, it seems like that's what he's implying uh, because he's not, you know, he's not just saying I'm of one mind. Usually he would use the phrase like I'm of one mind with you or if I'm of one heart with you, like how he, you know, he, he, he uses that phrase as well when he wants to talk about uh, being together in, you know, spirit, heart and mind. He uses that phrase of being one mind or being of one, uh, uh, yeah, one mind. Uh, so he's not using, he didn't, he didn't use that phrase, but instead he said very clearly, uh, I am with you in the spirit, or I am present with you. Uh, he says the same thing to the Corinthians, uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 5, when he says, though I am absent, uh, so he does, when you, when you gather together, 1 Corinthians 5, 5, I think it is, when you gather together in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and with my spirit, you know, so it seems like so because he's very explicit right he doesn't say like okay i'm just joining with you in mind uh, but he's he's telling them look uh, i'm present with you in the spirit so uh, therefore i think uh, and although we cannot say it very definitely but i feel that just because of how he has written it uh, he's actually you know the lord is enabling him to actually be there in the spirit observe what's happening uh, both for the Corinthians and the Colossians, uh, church, church in Colossae. And uh, therefore, he's able to, you know, really speak into the matters uh, of those local congregations. Yeah, and that is possible uh, as we look, you know, throughout the Bible. Yeah. Right, Pastor. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, oh sorry. What I wanted to say was... Uh, uh, what was I going to say? Oh, I was going to say that, uh, um, um, yeah, I really uh, enjoy uh, the question answer interactions with the students. Uh, and I, I kind of look out for that uh, because uh, like when we prepare the content, uh, of course, our, our goal is, you know, we want to be able to, uh, you know, take scripture and make it as simple as possible and, uh, uh, you know, answer the, you know, speak speak to the, the real life issues. And so we try to do that. But the questions when students ask, it really expands that, you know, it, it makes us think of, oh, I, I didn't think about that. Uh, or, oh, I, I didn't uh, answer, address that point. You know, so uh, I feel that uh, just when we listen to the questions that students ask, uh, it really is a very a good experience for us. I, I usually go back and update my notes uh, based on the, you know, I, I actually pay attention to all the questions that students are asking. And based on those questions, I expand 
the lecture notes, uh, you know, because uh, that that helps us make the course content uh, more comprehensive, uh, you know, so that when we, for the next batch of students, we, you know, we can actually uh, answer those questions, address those matters, because those are the real things that, you know, people are facing in the ministry, in their lives, in, you know, the day-to-day -day things. And so I really look forward to those questions uh, when students ask in class. And it's a, it's a big learning uh, experience and enjoyable experience, yeah. Yeah, thank you, Pastor. Thank you so much for sharing. And uh, uh, yes, the questions um, in class and the questions in the mentoring art, you know, uh, amazing questions, things that uh, um, somebody, uh, something that someone asks, we uh, probably have never thought of, uh, you know, looking at uh, things in uh, with that perspective. So yeah, it, it brings an incredible learning. Thank you, Pastor, for sharing uh, you know, your experience and how you're using those uh, questions as well to continue to build content. Um, so uh, the time is open. Yes, uh, uh, Paul, please, please go ahead. Yes, uh, thank you, Pastor Nancy. Uh, I just have a question, and yeah, uh, sure. I was just reminded of this question that came up about, I think, about two months back from, from one of our church members. Um, uh, the question she was questioning the whole uh, aspect of uh, speaking in tongues, and so uh, the basis that she came up with was uh, um, she has been traveling to many places in India and also out of India. And the thing that she noticed was, now, uh, like for example, if she would go to a Pentecost church or if she goes to a AG church, so she noticed that when people are speaking in tongues, it's usually the uh, you know the the people who uh, you know it's the same syllables or it's it, it sounds the same, uh, like the the uh, I don't know name the you know the different sections, but um, this group of people have the same style of or the syllables of speaking in tongues and then this other group have the same style of the syllables and it sounds the same meaning okay this group sounds uh, uh, you know the people the congregation in in one group sounds the same and but the congregation in the other group um, sound the same but then when you compare both of them they sound different <laughs> i hope i'm being clear in my question so <laughs> so uh, basically her question was um, uh, to me, she asked me, "Was isn't that like uh, it, it, to her? It looks very made up. It looks very, um, you know, something that people are trying to do." Uh, uh, I I didn't have a, a a comprehensive answer to give her, but I, I did give her an answer. But I, I don't think she was satisfied with it. Uh, but I just wanted to get some thoughts on this uh, because we know that the Holy Spirit is one. He gives the gifts to all of us. Um, but uh, maybe any of us can you know, just help us on this. How to answer a question like this? Yes. So thank you. Yes, Pastor, yeah. please go ahead. Pastor. Yeah. So I would look at it, uh, I mean, my response to a question like this would be, uh, you know, there is, the, there is the programmed and there is the genuine. Uh, so in many of our spirit-filled, charismatic, Pentecostal churches, uh, it is true. And we have to admit and we have to accept that some of the things that we say and do are actually programmed into our expression. Uh, and that includes these expression of the vocal gifts, you know, tongues and so on. So. We have to admit that. I remember way back, you know, when I was a teenager and my first exposure to this whole thing of Baptist Holy Spirit, I went to this church and the person who was praying for me, he came and said, repeat this word after, you know, say this word, you know, and I forget the word he was telling me to repeat. So that was actually a wrong way. And we never do that. You know, the Holy Spirit doesn't need us to go and tell somebody, say these words to speak in tongues, you know, but that's what they were doing. And I, I, I didn't do it. I didn't follow him because, uh, I, of course, at that particular evening, I was very confused. It was my first exposure to uh, this whole thing about baptism, the Holy Spirit in tongues. And I didn't repeat his words because my logic was very simple, right? That uh, this is a gift and then it's the Holy Spirit is going to give us the language. I don't have to uh, 
copy somebody and repeat some words. But sadly, in 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 our spirit-filled, charismatic, Pentecostal, you know, this whole uh, spirit-filled side, there are, there is a lot of things that are pre-programmed, and we have to admit it, and we have to stay away from that. We don't want things that are pre-programmed. We don't want to tell people to repeat certain words and make it look like speaking in tongues or you know, like being slain in the spirit and so on, you know, but there is the genuine, you know, it's, so the pre-program, we admit it. And so maybe it's possible that uh, if she's finding similarity in, you know, uh, certain groups, whether it's those on the ministering side and those on the congregation side, it's possible that's because of this pre-programmed nature uh, uh, practices in the Pentecostal, spirit-filled, charismatic uh, type of churches, which we should avoid, definitely. But then there is the genuine. The Holy Spirit genuinely gives people, uh, believers, the ability to speak in tongues. But then that's where you think about very simple logic. See, we are all speaking in English. So obviously, we are all sounding the same. Why? Because we are all using the same words. If you, if you look at it, in, in this last 40 minutes, if you look at all the words that were spoken, maybe... Uh, we would have used a total of maybe 200 words. Maybe. I, I, I'm not. I'm just, I'm just making a guess here. Okay. But we've all said many different things. Why? Because the same words have been rearranged differently. And when the same words are rearranged differently, they communicate different meaning. But if you look at the total set of words that we used in the last 40 minutes in all our conversations, it's probably a small subset of the entire dictionary. We probably used 200 words or 300 words. But in our conversations, uh, we rearranged those words differently. And so the meaning of what was conveyed was different. Now, that's just one language, English. So you can imagine if, you know, uh, so this simple logic. So if somebody says, well, these people are speaking in tongues and it's sounding the same. So, hey, we all sound the same <laughs> when we speak English because we're all using the same words. It's just that when the words are rearranged differently, they communicate different meaning. That's all there is to it. I hope it helps. Yeah. Yes, Pastor. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yes. Thank you, Pastor, uh, and thank you, pa uh, Pastor Paul, for that question. Um, we have another question here in the chat. Uh, where Charles uh, is asking, did really Sarah laugh during the three-man visit uh, or the Lord saw her heart and uh, got the marveling and said she laughed? So that is Charles' question. Uh, if Sarah really laughed when uh, she heard uh, God promise her a child. So would any of the faculty uh, like to take this up, please? Uh, Pastor Selena, could I request you to address this? Yes, Pastor Nancy, thank you. Uh, thank you, Charles, for your answer. Uh, yes, we read this in Genesis chapter uh, 18, verse 12. It says, therefore, Sarah laughed within herself. So it's not like something that she laughed outwardly, but then within herself, uh, you know, just thinking about how uh, this promise would be fulfilled because, uh, you know, they have grown so old, both uh, Sarah and Abraham. So, yeah, she laughed within herself. Does that uh, help, Charles? Thank you, Pastor Lina. Yeah, I see. Thank you, uh, Pastor Nancy. Thank you, Charles, for your question. Yes, I see his uh, thanks on the chat. So I think uh, his question is answered. Uh, thank you, Charles, for that question. Um, uh, would anyone have any any more questions? You can please ask. Pastor Ken. Okay, I see. Um, uh, Taisha's hand raised and uh, Shrikumar. Uh, Taisha, can we uh, take the question from Shrikumar first? Sure, sure, Pastor. Yeah. You can. Sure, I'll come to you after that. Yes, sir, Shrikumar, please go ahead. 
Yeah, uh, thank you, Pastor. Yeah, thank you. Pastor, I, I want an answer uh, regarding to uh, uh, this thing. Um, there's a believer who is continuously, he's, yes, he's a namesake, maybe he's a namesake believer, I don't know, but but he's actually he, having a desire to do uh, financial support to the churches. And, um, but recently in these days, he's arguing uh, with the pastors and, uh, you know, with the people who believes on Jesus saying that all the pastors are uh, taking the money and they are spending it on uh, their own desires and um, and they are, he's taking so many um, names and, um, you know, abusing and uh, saying that people are just taking the money and uh, eating it up and they are using big, big cars. And uh, so in that case, uh, how we have to respond to that person? Or, because now he's watching so many uh, YouTube videos and um, so he found that um, some some pastors were misusing. Maybe they are not misusing, but the YouTube, we cannot trust on YouTube. So, but uh, they are all anointed people, but uh, yeah. So that is my question is that how you okay. how how can we respond or how can we answer? Thank you, Pastor. Sure. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Shri Kumar. So Shri Kumar's question, how can uh, we respond to a person like this? He was helping pastors, but now, you know, he uh, is upset uh, looking at the way money is being used. So I just leave this open. Maybe Pastor Jai Kumar. Pastor, could you address this, please? Yeah, let's see. Um, yeah. Um... I guess like um, like what Pastor was sharing about the whole aspect of gifts. Um, we'll, um, see, we cannot generalize. There are uh, certain people who live in. Uh, it, it could be true that they are there is abuse, um, there is um, no financial integrity, and so on. So maybe they are misusing um, church money, um, and you know. Um, so we, there is that aspect of it. Um, but um, we can encourage the person by saying that, uh, you know, you cannot generalize and say every pastor is like this because, you know, uh, you know, every, uh, people are different. People are, um, you know, accountable to God and so on. So um, but the, I think the important thing is uh, for that person not to be offended and not to be bitter um, towards God, towards his kingdom uh, because of, uh, you know, all these things happening. Um, like I recently read somewhere that, uh, you know, yeah, uh, I mean, uh, Judas, uh, uh, you know, uh, betrayed the Lord, um, but the other others went on to um, serve the kingdom of God. You know, they did not look at Judas and say, hey, he betrayed and then get offended and, you know, stop their own mission. So um, they did continue on with the mandate that, that Christ had given to them so so the more important thing is not to be offended because uh, we we can get offended we can be bitter about what's happening um, or what's not happening in God's kingdom and um, and really jeopardize our own you know relationship with the Lord and uh, maybe our own walk with the Lord so that's the important thing yeah thank you thank you pastor yes uh... Thank you, uh, Shri Kumar, for the question and uh, Pastor Jay Kumar for answering it. I will quickly take uh, Taisha's question. There is one more question by Charles on the chat. Let's see if we can accommodate it. We have very little time, so we'll be uh, quick. Mm, OK, uh, Taisha, can you go ahead, please? Yes, I am here. Yeah. I just wanted to know, will we be having any in-depth course on interpreting dreams? Maybe uh, do we have any courses like that um, for next semester? A third year or no we don't okay so uh, i'll quickly answer that question uh, in understanding the prophetic uh, course there is an entire chapter on interpreting dreams um uh, so yeah i think it's quite uh, in depth in itself uh, so you could have a look at it and i hope uh, that helps yes i i know that it's there in in that section and i yes. wanted to know if we'll be going more diving into it as well we go in the prophetic or it was just for us to read and research further okay okay um uh, pastor would you like to address this 
Oh yeah. Um, so thanks. So that's that's as of now. That's all we've uh, uh, allocated uh, for the uh, subject of interpreting dreams. Uh, that's um, yeah. That's a little section in understanding the prophetic course. Uh, so we don't have a full course on uh, dream interpretation and so on. Um, yeah, we at the at this present time, uh, that's all we've allocated. But uh, feel free to bring up questions anytime. Uh, you know, during the mentoring hours, or so that we could kind of talk and interact on that subject. Yeah. Okay, Pastor. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you, thank you, Pastor. Thank you, Taisha. Um, we'll go to Charles' question here on the chat. He says, when Jesus was on the cross, he told John to see his mother and Mary to see her child. Could Joseph uh, have been dead? Would uh, any of our faculty be able to address this? Okay, pass oh, pastor. <laughs> yeah, Charles. I, I mean, uh, the answer is we don't know for sure, but we can, you know, we can guess that most likely that would be the situation uh, that, you know, uh, Joseph may have been dead by this time, and that's why Jesus is doing that, or in some way he's absent, and that he's doing. I mean, we cannot say for sure, of course, uh, but maybe that's. We can only say maybe that could be a reason. Or maybe Joseph was there, but he was still, you know, it doesn't have to necessarily mean Joseph is dead. It's just saying that, hey, there is somebody who's going to be there to take care of you. You know, so, I mean, you can imagine in terms of age, if Jesus was 30 years old, uh, 30 or 33 uh, years of age, uh, you know, if you look at it, maybe uh, uh, Joseph and Mary may have been in their 50s. You know, if you, look, you think of them as, you know, uh, 20, 25 years older. So they maybe have been 50s, which is not very old. Uh, could Joseph be in the dead? Maybe. Or he could have been alive. Uh, it doesn't mean that, uh, you know, we shouldn't assign somebody to care for somebody else. So the answer to your question is we don't really know. Uh, uh, we can look up history books, what they say on this, but uh, I guess it's just a guess. And, Uh, thank you, Pastor, for answering that question. And uh, uh, Charles, I hope uh, it helped. Uh, Even uh, when I was <coughs> I was typing it, I was laughing because whatever the Bible wants us to know here, the Bible is already having it. So I was like, hmm, let me put this one there and see. So thank you so much, Pastor. Oh, she's yes. for the answer. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Charles. We have uh, one last question here from Herbert. He says, morning, Pastor Jakes. Uh, it is a, as if final assessment and independent research paper in e-learning is missing. Uh, OK, yeah, I'll just answer that. Uh, so Herbert, the final assessment is the project report and the video, as we've been you know, uh, as the guidelines mentioned, and also as we've been instructed, instructing in the classes, the, the final report, according to that format, MLA format, and the video, uh, which e-learning students have to upload on a Google Drive and send the link. So that is, um, so the presentation and the video, um, oh, sorry, the, the video presentation and the report um, is uh, what is used for the final assessment, right? Hope that helps, thank you. Uh, th thank you, Pastor Jax. Maybe, uh, maybe you, you can put for me your email, say that, uh, in the case we, because we don't know exactly what where to to send it or how to maybe how to upload this. But we shall use guided discovery. You know, we are still learning this this system. Thank okay. you. Okay. Okay. Sure. Sure. Yes. Um, uh, I'll just put it here in the chat quickly. Um, yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you could uh, 
send the I, I, or you could upload it in the uh, in the discussion section also but you can also send it here the report as well as the link to the video that you upload right thank you uh, thank you, Pastor Jay Kumar. Thank you, Herbert. We, uh, uh, you know, we've, it's 8.50, so we are through, uh, you know, with the timing allotted for this session. Uh, I would like to request uh, Pastor Selena. Uh, Pastor Selena, could you please pray for all our students? You know, what, uh, uh, so blessed to hear their sharing, and we know that, you know, they, they will continue to learn and um, use all that uh, they have learned uh, in their life and ministry. So we just want to bless them, you know, as faculty. Could you please pray for all of them? Sure, Pastor Nancy. Let us pray. Father in heaven, we thank you, God, for your word. We thank you that it's so full of life, your revelations about yourself and what you want to reveal to us. We thank you, God, for the opportunity that we could learn from your word. We bless each and every student. We thank you for each one of them, for their desire, their eagerness, God, uh, the time that they are taking from their busy schedules, uh, just to sit and to listen and to hear and to learn, Father God. We just pray that, uh, that every word that has been imparted, that has been taught to them, that God would uh, would um, uh, refresh them, would strengthen them, uh, would uh, continue to help them to run their race with perseverance, uh, help them in their ministry, God, sharpen their uh, their understanding their, the, and the skills that they have, uh, God, uh, to use for your uh, kingdom, God, to teach and to minister to others, uh, to impart to others as well. We pray that you would bless them, that you would use them mightily, God. Father, we pray that even as uh, they continue to learn, God, that you would speak to them, that you would reveal your word to them, and God, that you would they would be strengthened, God, and that they would um, be used mightily, God, in the extension of your kingdom. We just thank you for uh, all that you have enabled us to uh, impart as a faculty, all that the students have learned, we pray that uh, it will be a blessing, God. We thank you for hearing our prayer in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you. Thank you, Pastor Selena. And thank you, everyone, for uh, joining today and for sharing. We will meet tomorrow uh, in the Supernatural Hour. All the best for your uh, uh, assignments that you're submitting and looking forward to uh, graduation day. God bless you all. Have a beautiful day. Thank you.